So hey guys, I just wanted to videotape this whole process because I've researched and researched. Didn't really find too much, so kind of combined everything. I've decided to paint my kayak. Um, yeah, my friend got a new one and it looks way better than mine on the water, so I'm going to step my game up a little bit. This is my kayak right now. It's a Future Beach 124 Fusion. It's purple, black, kind of. I've already taken all the hardware off. Um, I've bought this used, so the seat was just complete trash. So that is going to be replaced. Um, yeah, I took the hardware off, so you kind of see the colors. What it is. You can't really see this at all in the water. It just kind of looks like mud. So, um, this right here is my inspiration for what's going to come. And I've already sanded this down. I think it was 100 grit, maybe. Um, rinsed it with acetone after I've washed it. I've washed it again. I'm going to do more acetone tomorrow when I start painting. So we'll get going. Showing you my kayak. I'm kind of showing you the behind the scenes of prep. Um, this is the acetone that I bought. It's supposed to help the bind and get all the oils off so that the spray paint can stay better. Um, I'm using this Rust-Oleum two times ultra cover paint primer. It says it bonds to plastic, so we'll see how good um, that does and how long it lasts. And then I have some clear <clears throat> glitter sealer and just some high gloss clear to finish it off. So cross your fingers, that works. Um, this is the new name of my kayak I'm going to put on there. As you can see, I printed out some different size turtles and uh, making stencils. So hopefully this works. There's my new seat over there, ready to go. Well, we just had a downpour, which I didn't expect was going to be this early. I think it's sealed. It's not sticky. Pretty cool.
really it's not that bad. Like at all. Uh -uh. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is um, back from our first trip out. Just wanted to show you paint, how the paint held up. Um, not really too bad, to be honest. This is probably the biggest marks, which was off the dock. Um, and then this right here, where the metal off of my seat kind of rubbed. But, I mean, all in all, it did better than I expected, better than a lot of people said. Just little spots you can hardly see. I think it's definitely worth it. I can touch it up, you know, whenever. The sides. A couple bigger scratches on the sides, which was to expect, so. I think, too, having it match the base helped a lot. I'm happy with it. Happy with my decision.